A dire warning out from the United Nations Climate Change Panel, the intergovernmental group predicting that without a radical reduction of our greenhouse gas emissions, that the earth will suffer grave consequences. Marla Orenstein from the Canada West Foundation has looked into this report. Marla, what does this report mean for Alberta? Are there signs for optimism or just concern? The IPCC report was the first one that's come out since it was either 2013 or 2014. So they really did some updating of what their projections were from quite a few years ago. Um, not surprisingly to anyone, I'm pretty sure, um, their projections now say, yes, climate change is really a thing and it really is on us. Um, I don't think yeah, that the fundament, fundamental message there really changes what we know or how it is we need to proceed. It, it does emphasize uh, the swiftness with which responses have to happen, but it is not saying that it's a fundamentally different path that we should be going down than the one that we've been looking at for the last few years. What are the takeaways for Alberta, where we specialize in energy and agriculture, two sectors that have a huge impact on climate? For Alberta, I mean, there's a, a bad news story and a good news story at the first at the same time. On the one hand, obviously, we're a, a strong producer of fossil fuels, which is what the IPCC says is fundamentally the problem is the, the, the combustion of fossil fuels. So it's not the existence of, it is the combustion of, that, that, is, that really is a problem, and the production and the way that it's being produced. At the same time, Albert has already made some really meaningful strides in terms of addressing some of the problems that the report brings out. So for example, the, the report really focuses quite a bit this time on methane and the problems of methane, because it is a very potent greenhouse gas, but much more potent than carbon dioxide. And it also has much more short-term effects. So if, if we can um, manage to reduce methane quite a bit, then it really helps in the short term in terms of not progressing toward, past those limits. Methane is also something that has really been concentrated on in Alberta. We have government regulations around methane. The government put something in place at the beginning of 2020 that is going to require 45% less methane to be generated by oil and gas by 2025. So we're not looking at 2050 or 2030, and really, you know, almost almost half reduced by uh, 2025. So moving in that direction is already something that is um, part of the plan and part of where we're going. And in addition to those regulatory sticks, there's also all kinds of carrots that have been developed, particularly with emissions reduction in Alberta and some of the grand challenges that they've put forward. They had, they've had methane challenges. Uh, they had one on food, forestry and farming recently to look at how we can reduce the emissions that come out of those three sectors. So there's definitely progress being made. So difficulty, but at the same time, those paths are, are getting ever closer for us. Will this report affect businesses or the government in Alberta? Is there an opportunity here? I think a lot of the opportunity that's going to be created is going to come around the, the eventual carbon trading that's going to happen. Um, and on the provincial level, we have the tier program and, and those offsets are allowed to be traded and they have a monetary value. And with some of the programs that the federal government is setting up, so for example, the clean fuel standard, it also offers an economic opportunity for those uh, companies that are able to reduce emissions substantially. There's, there's a financial value in being able to do so. So I think this ramps up um, that opportunity. And I think it's one of those things that also continues to provide the certainty that this is the path that we're on. This isn't something that's fickle. It's not a path that's going to change in six months. Um, so I, I think it, it does help in that sense. Thanks for your time. Marla Orenstein from the Canada West Foundation.